Hello, and welcome to Spoiler Lab. A young woman from a wealthy family loses her father. As part of her inheritance, she gets a seller in the woods who has a secret that could ruin her life. Today, we'll tell you what happens in the movie The Inheritance, which comes out in 2020. Lauren Monroe, the daughter of Archer Monroe and a district attorney, remembers the moments leading up to the news of her father's death. There are also clips of her father's last moments interspersed throughout her recollections. She is being interviewed about a big case outside the courthouse when one of the reporters tells her that her father has died. She is so shocked that she can't say anything more and has to be led away from the scene. Lauren, her husband Scott, her daughter Claire, her mother Catherine, and her brother William are all at the cemetery as the minister says the funeral rites. They then head home in a convoy. At the house, Emilio, a policeman who is close to Lauren, gives his condolences and leaves. William and Lauren talk about moving their mother's house closer to them and William says that he is only staying for the reading of the will because he has to go back on the campaign trail. Before coming out for the reading of the will, Lauren spends some time in her father's study, where she remembers some of the lessons he taught her. Archerman, Harold Rose's lawyer reads the will in front of only her family. Catherine takes over the company and estates. William gets $20 million, the police and firemen's fund and Harvard School of Medicine get $50 million, and Lauren gets $1 million. However, Harold gives Lauren an envelope that is only for her. He tells her that her father was proud of her, even though he didn't leave her much money. In the envelope, Lauren finds a flash drive and a key. On the flash drive, there are directions to a secret on the house. Lauren opens the wooden cover and walks to the end of the dark hallway. She opens a door and is startled to see a rough-looking man sleeping with a collar around his neck. She walks over to him, but when she tries to touch him, he moves and she runs back to the house, stopping to catch her breath before she goes in. She calls 911, but decides not to report what she just saw. William notices that she's uncomfortable, but she brushes it off. When he offers to share, she turns him down and tells him to use the money for his campaign. The next scene shows Lauren and her mother on the balcony. Lauren's mother tells her that her father was proud of her when she notices her mood. When Lauren asks about any of her father's enemies that she should be afraid of, her mother tells her that it is not her job to worry about that. After William Scott and Claire leave, Lauren goes back to her father's study. She remembers that she and her father had a fight about her decision to become a DA early the next morning. Scott calls to check on her and remind her of Claire's recital. She tells him she is going to court and promises not to miss their daughter's performance. She takes the food to the prisoner and starts asking questions as soon as she drops the food on the table. He deflects and says that she is a better person than Archer. He asks about Catherine, and Lauren sternly tells him not to bring up her family. As she leaves, she tells him that if she doesn't get answers Archer didn't call the police, despite Morgan's advice. Instead, he buried the man in a lonely part of the woods. After burying the man, Archer knocked Morgan out and took him to the cellar while he was still unconscious because he didn't want Morgan to talk about what happened that night. Morgan says he begged Archer to kill him, but as time went on, Archer couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he gave Morgan the chance Alex threw his pictures in his mother's house. She looks upset, but Sophia tells her that Alex doesn't know about Archer's other family. She goes to talk to Harold about Sophia. Harold tells her to leave, saying that Sophia signed a non-disclosure agreement and wouldn't let the cat out of the bag. As she walks away, she asks Harold if Archer ever told him the name Morgan Warner. Harold says the name doesn't sound familiar. Lauren comes around in the end. Carson backslash tells her about his attempt to poison backslash s Archer. He says he had lost hope in his backslash plan working until she arrived. He says backslash she noticed her compassionate side and backslash took advantage of it by playing the backslash victim. He adds that William would have backslash left him to rot in the cellar at this backslash point. Catherine wakes up and Carson turns his attention to her. Lauren tells Carson to leave Catherine alone because the problem is only between them. Carson tells her that she is wrong, and then he tells the story of how he raped Catherine at a party at Archer's summer house. According to Carson, Catherine told Archer about him, and Archer beat him up and put him in the car and drove away. Archer knocks down a young backslash man and decides to bury him back in the backslash present. Carson says that it was at that backslash moment he knew he owned Archer however backslash she adds that he did not expect Archer to backslash knock him out and then throw him into backslash the cellar as time went on Archer backslash started vending to Carson Catherine says that she should have killed Carson herself and Carson hits her. Lauren asks what he wants and he tells her that he wants his pound of flesh. Catherine says that she will reveal all of her father's secret dealings if Carson leaves her family alone but Carson says that he doesn't make deals. Carson then talks about how he wants to leave Lauren and Catherine to die in the cellars while he goes after William and uses the secrets he knows to destroy the family's legacy. Lauren attacks him in a different way. She calls him a pathetic lunatic and says that no one cares about him. This angers him, and he attacks her and throws her against the wall. 
He then tells her that he is her father, which knocks her out. Catherine, however, has gotten up and shoots him in the back of the head. After he falls, she shoots him twice more and then sits down with Lauren to reassure her that she is a Monroe. 